In the Pacific, a thousand miles north of New Zealand, are the islands of Tonga. In the royal palace, a long succession of kings and queens have ruled over the friendly islands. Tonga, smallest kingdom in the world, for a thousand years a monarchy. But today, December the 16th, 1965, the palace and the people of Tonga are mourning. Their sovereign is dead. The long reign of Queen Salote, deeply revered by her proud Polynesian people, is ended. In accordance with tradition, the casket of the Queen is carried over the walls, as a coffin must never pass through a gateway. A hundred and eight pallbearers from the villages of Kolofo and Kolomotu convey the body a quarter of a mile to the royal tombs at Malayakula. are His Majesty Taufa Ho Tupo IV and Queen Mataaho, followed by their son, the Crown Prince. The Prime Minister is now His Royal Highness Prince Tue Pelahaki, accompanied by Princess Melanayate and the royal children. Representing New Zealand are the Governor General, Sir Bernard Ferguson, and the Fijian Governor, Sir Derek Jakeway. Also attending from New Zealand are the Prime Minister, Mr. Holyoke, and his daughter, with representatives of the armed forces, Lieutenant General Thornton and Rear Admiral Ross. The leader of the New Zealand opposition, Mr. Kirk, joins the party of parliamentary and church officials from Fiji, Samoa, and Tonga. During her long reign of 47 years, Queen Salote won the hearts of all the people who knew her. The summers she spent with friends in New Zealand. A month before she died, she returned to Auckland for medical treatment and there went to hospital when her condition became critical. Her death brought sorrow to New Zealand, the country she chose to visit so often. In Tonga, Queen Saolote will be remembered for social reform, the promotion of welfare work in the far-flung islands of her 70,000 subjects. To Nukualofa, 50,000 came to attend her funeral. 50,000 clothed in black, the cloth of mourning. The catafalque, too, is draped in black and the women who guard the burial are wrapped in the coarse mats of mourning. When her father died in 1908, Queen Salote was a pupil at the diocesan school in Auckland. She was crowned sovereign of Tonga at the age of 18. Later she married, but her husband, Prince Tungi, died in 1941, and for nearly a quarter of a century, she ruled alone. At the grave site, tarpa cloth conceals the coffin from the mourners as the royal undertakers perform the last rites. And for 20 tense, ticking minutes, a silence of sorrow. Queen Salote was born in 1900 
The year Tonga adopted its constitution and was tied by treaty to Britain. In 1953, Queen Elizabeth invested Tonga's queen with the insignia of Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victoria Order. This is the final tribute from New Zealand, Britain, the Commonwealth and the people of Tonga to the memory of a monarch, Queen Salote.